Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play EU4 as England. Let's continue on for last left off. Apparently, did I lose my Admiral? Yeah, he must have died, unfortunately. Apparently, there's going to be a naval battle here. We're going to probably still crush the, uh, the French. We should be okay no matter what. I mean, France is fighting an absolutely massive war. Again, we just really want to, like, not even, like, take territory from them necessarily. We... I mean, we do. No, don't get that wrong. Are we fighting anybody else? The answer is no. Paris? We're sieging that stuff down. Let's see if you take any territory, though. But Austria. You will not accept an alliance. England is at war. I mean, yeah, we are. But we're at war with the same people you're at war with. We have our full siege bonus. We have... One. If we put you guys, we'll have plus. We'll have six artillery, which is enough for a plus three bonus. That should get us up to zero, which is quite nice. Burgundy now has access to go fight their peasant rebels. So good on you. Let me see against like France, Provence, France will join a coalition, maybe. We're seizing some territory down. Do you have any artillery? You don't. And really, I really just want the one province. I might have to train up. I actually have a thousand gold right now. I am going to train up, let's say, another five infantry in there in uh, this province. Okay, so this should fall soon. I don't even know where the... The debate failed again! It's horrible. Fine, there you go. Hope you're happy with that. We have won a battle here, which I don't even think I was even trying to really care about too, too much. And if we can connect our territories in France together, that would be nice. Like, one, two, three. And if we can get these to combine, maybe we can get something done. You had to wait. Not actually, like, so far north. I mean, there's no way France can win their wars. How much are we still building here? And you guys up towards the north. We have 19% uh, occupation here. Uh, uh, uh. Don't want to attack into the mountains. We'll occupy Perth. You guys are going to go to this province. Occupations are still going quite, quite well. And there's a revolt. Yeah, we'll just ignore them. Uh, they did kill some of my units, though, which is unfortunate. Are you in a mount? You're in grasslands. But apparently you're still allowed to cross the straits. And we should be defenders here. With all of our artillery, we should be doing pretty okay. And we are. Plus 84, which is nice. We do have some ideas. Yeah, infantry combat ability plus 10%. Is pretty nice. And France. We have 49% clear offer. I mean, if I was to take, let's say, these three provinces, it would make a ton of people really mad at us. The Pope and Lorraine wouldn't be mad for so, like, super, super long, but we don't have claims over most of that territory. Like, we only have claims over in this area, which is currently completely occupied by, um... Uh, Burgundy. Send you back home. 
I mean, the French army might be, like, anywhere. I don't know. Which does worry me a decent amount. Okay, so we have an 8.4 stack there. Don't really have to worry about them so, so much. And I, I think for right now, we're just basically going to sit in our territory. Until, um... A new unit, just someone who has a thousand strength. We'll just sit in our territory until, um... Either Burgundy surrenders or something like that. Not Burgundy, France uh, surrenders. Because we can easily take the territories that I want from Scotland. And we're three techs away from actually being able to do anything with, um... Boring Great Britain. Like, none of this is claimed. How much... Length of war, ally in war... Taking it from rivals still makes it pretty cheap. Scott, I mean, the Scott, the whole Scottish thing doesn't matter so much to me. If we can take, like, two somewhat cheap provinces, like, this would be 20 development worth. Yeah, we still gotta save our points up. Official unrest in Chartes. Doesn't matter so much. The rebels are occupying territory, though, which is not great. If I were to take this, it's worth 5 war score. You actually just stay here for now. I don't care about the rebels too much. They'll probably move into the capital, and then we can easily just go kill them off. Like, you wouldn't say yes to anything quite yet. We have an 8.2 stack of troops down in the south. I think we do want to send some units down to go kill. What did we just finish? We just got some bonuses. There we go. I'm not too sure. Oh, we just got claims of the entire country of Scotland. Fantastic. And also uh, in Ireland as well. So, you know, we'll send you over to there. And what's the next mission after that? Conquer Scotland? And conquer Ireland, which we've almost done. Like, we, we can actually probably take Ulster in this war as well. Complete those two missions. We can call allies into the war. Flanders would join. You know what? Yeah. They don't want to land, but also call them in. No reason not to, I think. Uh, we have a 10,000 stack of French troops down towards the south. And I know there's like a fort somewhere around here, I think. Your hills. Go back to Bordeaux for a moment. I mean, if we can kill an 11 stack, I wouldn't say no, obviously. Come back down here to Perth. And now you're in, you're still in hills. That's a problem. If you could like grasslands or farmlands or something, that would be nice. I didn't even see what that message was, unfortunately. I kind of clicked off a little bit too fast. Innovation is decreasing. Don't worry about that. I'm sure it's fine. Send you up towards the north. You could be here. We really are just wanting the French to die. I'll go back and take Perth. Okay, we got 11 stack on the move. But where are they going to go next? Who knows? How many, what do you actually have in you? You are a 2 4. Problem is that they're a little bit too fast. You know what? 9 against 29. Like, we should still win this. Like, what attack are you on? You're still on tech 7 as well. I know our morale is, like, not fantastic. But, like, we should still be good. And now you guys are really ready to surrender. Are you on low? Yeah, you're both on low. You wouldn't say yes to two provinces. You would say yes to one. 
10, 8, 9. Like, what's your current... You would currently accept... Looks like 41. Taking a bunch... Like, actually just taking, like, a ton of money off you sounds like a good idea. Like, a thousand bucks. Basically, just bankrupt France. What's your cheapest province? Foie? Even Foie, you wouldn't actually give me, though. Return cores. You wouldn't know treaties. Just more war reps. I mean, a humiliate is very tempting. And then give me whatever money I can get. That's only be 40 gold. Um, you know what? No, we'll, we'll stay in the war a little bit longer then. And that should actually be like a stack wipe, yeah. So France right now is an army of 993 men. You also can just go to here. Yeah, I mean, France is completely occupied, which is just moi. Fantastic. Uh, we don't want exploration ideas right now. Still want to save up all the points we can have. We also probably should be taking back uh, our territory here. We'll lose the 10% tax modifier. It sucks, but we're still earning three gold, even though we're at war, so. And fully maintaining our uh, army. That's another province of France occupied. We might as well occupy everything we can. And also, yeah, stop being occupied ourselves, obviously. 30% army professionalism. I will take it. And you still don't want to ally me because we're at war. But once we're not at war, we should be looking good with you. What are you guys fighting about, even? The Burgundian Succession War. Okay, they're fighting over who gets to inherit Burgundy. Forty-one. We have more points now. I mean, the coalition of Scotland doesn't scare me too much. We got to humiliate and I don't always say it says this is going to be the largest they'll actually accept, because it's not. But they won't actually accept the money that I'm uh, suggesting. I'm not going to cross the strait to kill a 10 stack. Actually, with five, um, with five maneuver, I think we do avoid the uh, straight crossing penalty. Okay, humiliate. You really just don't want to give me any money. So right now, they would give me 48 war score worth of stuff. I mean, our war score is just ticking upwards. We can actually gain 15 more just by staying in the war forever. Which is pretty good, I would say. Uh, we can get Diplotech... Seven, which gives us the range that I think we need. So now, can I colonize some stuff? I can. Do I want to colonize here, or do I want to colonize in Africa? Um, let's at least get a basic colony in Africa going. Again, because of our colonial policy, we should be fine just doing that. Actually, with so much money as well. We can probably afford to get, like, three colonies above the limit. Especially if I get France to give me some money as well. We have 40% and like, there's no more territory I can actually take from you. Is Ferrara on your side? I guess you are fighting more than just me. I'm fighting more people than... uh. That's, this helps me out. I don't know if Flanders is going to go take these territories. Because France has 1,000 men. I'm actually going to send a 14 stack. And basically whatever this guy takes... I'm just going to occupy it right afterwards. Thank you, because you're actually just giving me war, uh, war score here. Okay, you're actually taking... I'm assuming this is not going to me. It's not. 
So we got like one more province, which gave me 2% more score here. But like, I still wanted to like, take territory. You won't take a humiliate and losing a province. Because I want to humiliate you. But even like maybe humiliation. Driving them deep into debt. I gained 30 power projection, which is quite nice. I mean, that's all it really does, right? It's, it's power projection. If I were to take, let's say, two provinces, that would, um, that's 12 power projection. You know what? We will go for the Humiliate. And... Can't get one more. I, I doubt there's anything that costs, like, one reason. Yeah, I think this is fine for now. Fantastic. We'll now move these troops back up towards the north. There you go, Burgundy and Austria. You have way more territory that you can occupy now. And Scotland, my friend. I'm assuming I can't... No, all your territory is a little bit too expensive. But if I was to take, let's say, you, you... It's kind of like all this territory. You would say yes to this. And honestly, the only person who joined the coalition would be France. Even with all of this territory we're occupying. And it's all permanent claims. So you know what? Thanos demands in. Scotland now basically exists as two tiny islands. We've now conquered Scotland. Permanent claims of some territory. Uh, gained some claims, some other stuff. We've also conquered Ireland, which is some made of, like some bonuses as well. So overall, I think that is more than acceptable. We've also got some claims over uh, Iceland and stuff. But now that we are making... A lot of money. Are we spending anything because we're over force limit? Uh, no, we're almost at force limit, but not quite. And are we still using our guys to protect trade? Yes, you are. Fantastic. Did I lose my... I did lose the war operations, unfortunately, because I think we declared war on them a little bit too early. But for now, I mean, Fort Manus is still high. We don't need this fort on. We don't need any of these forts on, to be honest. Turn them all off. That should save us a handful of coins. Which is nice. Our royal marriage with you has ended. We did not get our heir onto the throne, unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame, but, you know, it is what it is. In Austria. I want my alliance up. Thank you again. I will gain some money. And like so much in the bank. We'll take our colonist off from you. I will also put you in charge here. Colonist care war on Norway for some reason. And we'll send you over to Iceland as well. Or Greenland I should say. Because even though it's growing at 10, it's not growing very fast. From technology, plus 25, it's arid. It's not adjacent to us, so it slows down a little bit there as well. Of course, I'll take the points here. And I will take your royal marriage. Oh, wait, Scotland? No, no, who declared war? No, you're attacking Scotland. That makes a thousand times more sense. Like, Scotland attacking somebody seems a little bit dangerous, but... You know, what do I know? And now that we should have actually, we do, we have all of these. We could start a golden era. It can only be enacted once per campaign. Religious zeal, goods produced, goes up. See, that's the thing. Like, is it, is it better to start a golden age now or later, do you think? I would imagine it has to be better now, right? Because if you start now, like, especially with the all power cost minus 10%. Good produce. Like, getting a start early on 
has to be the best choice. Also, yeah, we can immediately go for uh, Technology 7, which I think... What do you unlock? Active Uniformity. Embration cost plus 10%. Actually, I don't think it's too bad as England, because you're already basically where you need to be. But I do think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks so much for watching, my name is If you enjoyed, put a thumbs up. If not, enjoy, call you something down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.